in this week's video, we go on a mat drive. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us on this mat drive we had. It is, was really, really awesome. And, uh, you guys must watch the whole thing. There's some very interesting facts that come out here. And things I didn't even know. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see when we get proper rain. Yeah, we haven't had proper rain. We've had, it's rarely made. All the years for the like this was yeah. not the one, but contrary to all Educated guess that baby over there is about three years old, but three to foot, half years. Um, that means that mama probably within the next few months, maybe early next year, maybe earlier than that, will definitely have a baby. There you go, you can see how oh, yeah. wow. she's yeah. huge. Yeah. She's huge. Maybe less than a few. How long are they pregnant for? Uh, so white rhino is pregnant for 18 months, black rhino is pregnant for 16 months. Oh, no. um, <laughs> that's a great response. Yeah. Um, no diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, um, flipping out rhino's birthing methods might be my favorite. So, for the baby making activities, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the way it works is uh, rhinos have a major office system, so there's uh, like elephants and so there's people who are you willing to argue that. Good luck. Um, <laughs> but the female's the boss. The female's that the boss. That sounds right. Yeah, I'll go with that. We do. There's <laughs> <laughs> some intelligent gentlemen on this vehicle. We can go out. After the driving, might have a different opinion. But that's, uh, no, we we'll just keep quiet because we <laughs> just want them to think that. <laughs> I think it's more important to get the left behind in the middle of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But with your rhino's mating methods, the way it works is how the female gets in the mood is she has to bully the male. So she'll bite him, she'll kick him, she'll scratch him, she thumps him, it's the best way I put it. That's how she gets her estrogen levels to get to a point where, um, that's pretty, where she can get pregnant, she can have a baby. Um, the only time the male's ever really in control is at the really, really end of the deal. So what happens is he mounts her once she allows him to do it. If he tries too early, um, she hits him with the intent of hurting him really, really bad. Even if he's the perfect mate. If he tries too early, he gets punched in the mouth. <laughs> it works. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Um, but the, the way it does work with that is when he mounts her, they do the deed when he's done. The only time he's in control is when he's done. So when Tongue is kidney bean shaped because when they poo, the V of the hole pushes down to make a kidney bean shape. Um, horses also have it, and buffalo's hole doesn't have a shape, it's just a hole. Yeah, Cows as well, so that's why yeah. you get buffalo mud pies, yeah. cow mud pies. They, they <laughs> Talking shit. <laughs> 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 no, I've learned much with this stuff. <laughs> Stay sure it's all true stories. Don't tell too many stories because then someone goes and tells another rape joke. No, you're more than welcome. No, I'm joking. Somebody's done that to me before where I've told a very, very silly story and they believed it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 and everyone thought he was being serious and I was like, 
like a, it's like a couple of guys you can't actually. He was actually in real trouble. He always lost his job. Everyone was like, you can't do this. Like, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's like a giraffe story. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that door. Mm. In between these mm. two. Yeah, we saw him earlier. Yeah, because he's the youngsters. Yeah. Well, she's pregnant. You can see the veins on her belly. Shame, bro. Huh. Um, about a year. And then my card comes up. Mm -hmm. He was chasing the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another big reason for it is because they don't give warning signs like a lot of the other big animals give warning signs. Okay. If you think of ellies, ellies do quite a bit. If you think of rhinos, rhinos do quite a bit. Leopards, lions, flipping parla, nyala, bushbuck give you warning signs. Buffalo don't. They so let's just say for argument's sake, I'm only watching that big one. It makes sense to do it. He's the biggest. He's it's a patriarchal system, so he's the boss, he makes all the calls and stuff like that. But if I'm only focusing on him, I'm leaving a lot of unfortunate playroom that could take place. Uh, what I mean by that is buffaloes react on how other buffaloes react. So if one buffalo runs, they'll all run. If one buffalo um, gets frightened, they all react in a necessary manner. For external stuff with buffalo within their things that couldn't even understand you very very um big reason for that as well is because they have different jobs the male very lovely he does not care what happens to the kids he's he wants to increase the number of his own that's his job that's what he wants to do his job is to look after the females that he wants to, that's what he wants to do he has to fight for the females and he wants to keep the females safe Whatever happens to little Jimothy over here, doesn't really bother him. That's where Mama looks after them. That's Mama's job, is to look after the babies. So, have you guys seen videos of lines being thrown in the air by Mama? Yeah. That's not by the male, that's by the female. Um, so, their horns, the best way of identifying male and female buffalo. If you look at this lovely lady over here, you guys see on this hair on her forehead. She has bangs. You look at that big bug over there, you don't have any hair on his forehead. That armored plate he has is called the boss. Mm -hmm. He needs it because he fights with other buffalo. And if a lion goes to the lady over there, his job is to make a lion pancake. He's trying to squash him. He's not trying to give him a warning like Mama would give him a warning. He's trying to say, I'll send a message to the rest of the lions you want to try. So if you've seen videos of lions getting killed by buffalo, man. Um, it's not an animal to be taken lightly um, at all. I feel like it's brilliant. I feel like it's a brilliant animal. Uh, I've been very fortunate to have dealt with these buggers close and personal. Um, they get such interesting personalities. Very loving. They're not the brightest tool in the They don't have to be. Uh, a big thing that goes along with buffaloes is if you think of big animals, they don't really have eyes that reflect. So if you think of elephants, even the rhinos we saw earlier, the eyes don't really reflect. 
mm. because the bigger the animal is, they, the worse their eyesight tends to be because there's that comfort in their size. Buffalo's eyes reflect because even though there's that comfort in their size, they still know lions. If they could go to a restaurant and order food like we order food, lion would order zebra and buffalo. Two quite nice fatty um, animals with a lot of food to go around. Obviously, buffalo much bigger. Um, but I think lions probably choose zebra over buffalo as a food from the lion. Um, but when it comes to that boss over there, if you've ever been fortunate enough to feel the other side of it, it's quite spongy. It's not as rock hard as you would think. So he almost has like a, a shock absorber membrane on the inside of his boss. The outside is hard, like the horn is hard, but it's almost like a, a sponge kind of effect. It's pretty hard. I'm not saying it's super soft, it's just softer than you anticipate. It's almost got like a, a nail kind of softness. Um, cool store, is, it, is it solid or is it like, um, like a, a mesh type structure? I don't really know how to explain it in terms of material. The, the best way I could describe it is if you have you ever felt an action cricket ball that it's soft but not soft. It kind of has that like hardness towards it. It's similar to that. So it can absorb quite well and it can, if you've ever been hit by one, you know it hurts quite a bit still. Same principle. So sponge is not the best kind of thing, but it kind of looks like that as well. Um, I guess, you know, you get those sole correctors for your shoe that help with your posture and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you get the, the harder, like, bouncy carbon fiber kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of a feeling like, like that. So, um, I'm, I'm a trails guy. So I'm those, one of those dumbasses who likes to walk in the bush and see these animals closer on foot. Um, in my opinion, it's the best way to view animals in the bush if you've ever done it. What an experience if you haven't done it. It's, it's definitely worth it. Um, but I've been charged by old Dugga boy, and it's terrifying. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not scared of any animals, but I'm very, very wary of buffalo, um, and I'm wary of elephants. Of all the animals I've encountered on foot, this is the one that always makes me a, a bit more nervy. Um, I've stood down elephants and spoken to it like it's a, like a really big dog. I don't know what to do with um, or buffalo, I don't know. Well, you've made it this far in the video, so thank you so much for supporting us and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can get notified when we launch new videos. Enjoy guys and see you on the next one.